exactly how I do it. Uh, the programs I use, um, the labs I go through, the whole process, because uh, it's pretty sweet, um, kind of behind the scenes here. Let me, uh, there we go. Now I got you guys pulled up here. This is like weird inception stuff. Uh, I use some program here that does not allow me to see comments as they come in. And so um, so I keep my phone out so I can see you guys. So welcome, you guys. Welcome to episode 47 of Six Figure Live. My name is Ben Hartley uh, with Style and Story Creative, Six Figure Photography. Coming to you guys from Columbus, Ohio. Um, and so uh, Six Figure Live, it's really just a chance to get you guys uh, behind the scenes at what we do here. Um, and so there's, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Uh, today, I'm ordering prints. And I wanted to show you how I do this, uh, the, the type of software that I'm using to streamline the process, the labs that I use, uh, pretty much the whole procedure. And there's some really freaking cool stuff here, um, especially if you're doing uh, actual wall art for clients, if you're doing albums for clients. This stuff is... Uh, it's it's just incredible, and it's only gonna get better. Um, hey, one person, what's up, man? Uh, you left. Uh, as you guys find your way on in here, say what's up. Give me a little thumbs up. Give me a heart. Um, leave a comment so I know who's watching. Um, and uh, let's do this thing. We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, hop on to the um, uh, intro video. Hopefully, we have audio today. Who knows? Uh, let's do it. All right, see you guys. Hey, check that out. We had audio this time. You guys, welcome. Victoria, what's up, girl? Leslie, what's up, girl? Um, all right, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to hop over um, because my wife and I ha had a, a portrait session taken. I want to encourage you guys, too, as photographers, be investing back into your own photography for your own life, for your for your own personal use, okay? Um, hire a photographer. Work with someone. Get art on your wall. Get prints on your wall. And so we worked with the studio, uh, a good friend of ours, Rachel Jacobus, um, with Little Rue. Uh, that's who's done all of our our, our, um, our family portraits. And um, and she put together an amazing shoot for us. And it's time to get some artwork for it. So we are um, we're going to be ordering some canvases. I'm going to order six canvases today. Six canvases from Miller's Lab. And, um, and I want to show you guys how I'm going to do this because some really powerful stuff out there. It's 2016. You should, um, there's certain things you should stop doing uh, in regards to ordering your stuff. Uh, and I want to show you some of the things you should be doing. All right. Um, and so let's jump right in. I'm going to be actually inside of Fundy. I want to show you how we use Fundy um, to actually make this stuff happen. So we're inside Fundy Designer right now. Um, and I've already started doing a couple things here, but I, I want to start um, kind of from scratch. And so what I want to show you guys is within Fundy Designer, um, I can essentially uh, drop in my own um, room, you know, we'll go ahead and say. And inside this room, then I can actually uh, put artwork on the wall to simulate it. And that's cool, uh, you know, you, but I guess what's not cool is this is not my room. This is not my bed. These are not my dimensions. And so um, what I can do, though, is I can go ahead and I can snap a picture of my room and I've done just that all right so I've got a picture here um, uh, of of my space where I want to put the artwork this is just a, a cell phone picture uh, from my iPhone and I want to create um, some artwork right here in in the middle and so uh, to do this um, let's go ahead now I'm gonna click edit this room this room is currently in use okay cool um, so I'm gonna measure out uh, if I was at home I could actually measure this I'm not at home right now I'm, I'm calling you guys from the office so I can measure this with the measuring tape and actually define you know these measurements but I know the standard measurement if you notice down here uh, I've got a couple different points here right so I could say hey this is you know let's say it was 16 inches or something but I know that this little wall outlet down here it's small but this is again just roughing it in this wall outlet is going to be about uh, 2.25 inches. And so, um, yeah, that's about, that's about it. Again, if I was home, I would just measure this because it's a larger source. But anyhow, so I put in 3.25 inches right there. And now I get to choose uh, kind of a, an auto design area. This is... Uh, this is kind of where I can decide. This is the the rough area where I'm going to be designing the canvases that I'm going to be ordering. And I'll go ahead and click finish. And so now at this point, 
I can go in and click this little tab and it's gonna bring in some of the images. I've already chosen the photographs that I want to use, okay? I've got these three images here, boom, boom, boom. And check this out, guys. I've, I'm, I've got them, I'm gonna drag them up and I'm just gonna drop them right there. Automatically, it's gonna give me an idea of, of this is a sample layout and it's gonna go ahead and, and frame it accordingly. Um, so that way, you know, this is, it's saying an eight by 12, this is a 40 by 30. I could grab all of these images right here and I could just scale this thing up and it's going to uh, give me other standard sizes. Now, I skipped a step here. I wanna show you guys this. We use Miller's Lab for our prints. And so up here, I can actually go in and I can choose any lab that I want. Now, I've obviously chosen Miller's. Um, I freaking love Miller's. Uh, and so what it's doing is it's only giving me the sizes that Miller's provides, okay? So I can't even choose a size that they don't offer, all right? So this would just be one way to use it, but check this out, you guys. Um, so I'm gonna, I could mock up some things here. I could also go into layouts and get some other ideas uh, from within the Fundy software of other kind of setups that we could do. So let's hypothetically say something like this. Well, obviously that's not gonna work. Um, so I could go back up into here. What I already know I want to do is something along these lines. Uh, I can just simply drag and drop to move imagery, um, but I want to show you this too. Let's say we did something that was, I don't know, like this. I can take a horizontal picture and drop it into a vertical frame box, and, it's, and it allows me to do it because it's not template-based. It's not going to force me to say, hey, horizontal has to go horizontal. I can go vertical to horizontal, et cetera, et cetera, which is just really wild. Within here, I could change any one of these frames to be any other size that I want, but I don't really want to do any of this. I actually want to create something, and check this out. I'm able to do it all uh, in like, I can just put this guy right in between there and then I can move this thing here. That's a little bit large, 40 by 30. It's gonna start getting too low to the floor. So I'm just gonna resize this thing down. I kinda would like to do something like maybe 16 by 24, ah, something like that. Let's see how big this is in this space. Yeah, that's all right. Maybe something a little bit, yeah, like that maybe, like 24 by 16. I think that would look good. Um, Cool, so 24 by 16, I'm digging that, kind of a strip right along here. I'll have Leslie at the top, maybe I'll put me at the bottom, and then um, have our family there in the middle. Check out these pictures, by the way. Uh, this is, again, is Little Rue. She just did an incredible job. Um, but I don't wanna do an image wrap. I actually like color wraps more, and so I'm gonna do a white border. So it's gonna show me this is the white border around the image here with Miller's. Um, I love that. I think that's gonna be really pretty right there. So check this out now, you guys. Um, I've got another room uh, that I've already wor been working on. This is a little bit trickier because I couldn't quite photograph this space. I wanted to create some wall art going up the stairs. So I had to shoot down. So it doesn't kind of work with the perspective in that way, but it gives me the, the idea of, of what I need. And so what I was thinking of doing was uh, like three kind of 24 by 36s going up the stairs. Again, I just love this imagery uh, here that she created. I'm gonna again change this one to a color wrap. And what Fundy does is, because I've chosen Miller's as my lab with this color wrap right here, it's going to actually um, export out the exact file that I'm gonna send to Miller's for them the next day ship. Hey Jason, what's up my man? Um, it's gonna export out the exact same file and so now I don't need to go into any other software, any other program to, to think about dimensions, to think about sampling sizes, to think about any of the resolution, to think about adding the white borders. Um, it does it all for me right there. And so I'm super stoked about um, what, what I got right now. So uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this out. I wanna show you what this looks like because it's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go export for print. It's gonna ask me which room do I wanna export for. Um, for the sake of this right now, I'll just go ahead and export the first room for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna click next. Um, sure, I'll just put them in my downloads folder. I don't know, you could assign wherever you wanna put it. And then um, I am just going to do uh, rooms, room one. Uh, I've got three gallery app canvases, that's perfect. We'll go to next. And it's gone ahead and it's, uh, it's uh, rendered them out. And so we'll click finish. I wanna show you um, what Fundy actually um, creates when it uh, renders these out for you guys. Um, so check this out. This is really cool. So this is the file that it produced for me. Um, and so this this file right here is going to be uh, perfect. It's gonna be exactly set up for a Miller's print that has a white board around it, right? Um, and it's going to uh, have all the correct resolution. And it's also gonna be sampling 
are like upscaling the image uh, with some crazy algorithm stuff that makes it like sharp and perfect uh, for the canvas print. Jason said, I switched to Miller's after hearing you talk uh, them up and they are awesome. I love the next day shipping. So freaking awesome. Dude, I know. Jason, this is what's going to be rad. Uh, so when I hang up with you guys, I'm going to order all these from Miller's and it's going to be like next day shipped. Uh, maybe two day shipped. Uh, just depends on, on everything. But you know, gone are the days with other labs where I would like sit around for like three to four weeks waiting for a print to show up. Miller's is so efficient. They're so on it. And when you combine it with Fundy, like the speed aspect, Jason goes even like faster because again, it's just perfectly all right here for me. Um, so just an export complete. Um, and we're good, man. Like that, that was it. And so this is so cool. I'm using this for personal use, right? <laughs> like I'm not even trying to sell to myself. I just wanted to actually mock this up to see what would it look like in my own home but dude this gets so powerful when you sit down and use this with a client when you actually have to ask a client to shoot you a text of the space that they're thinking about and then you can mock up uh, an idea of of what it could look like and maybe you could present to them a few different ideas well what would one image be or what would a, a series of three images be again i love that he's giving you um kind of ideas options um for things that you can do uh f within the software here and again, just to grab it and then to scale and move things around, uh, I again, I just love the fact that I'm not stuck uh, using a horizontal image as a horizontal kind of template system. I can just drop a horizontal and put it right into the vertical. And I can do it all like immediately right there on the fly. Um, it's really rad. If I just wanted to move one of these and kind of tighten up some of these lines, again, I can do that and it's providing me the guides to stay within. And so now I've got like that kind of a mock-up too. Um, Really freaking rad. I'm just gonna go ahead and just undo that because I, I do wanna keep it the way that I had it. Um, I liked that size, that 24 by 16 size is really freaking rad. So you guys check this stuff out. Um, it, by the way too, this is still gonna get better. Uh, I think Fundy version 7.5 is coming out soon enough. And it's really gonna be focused even more on the gallery designer portion of it. Um, don't even get me started on the albums. It's like, it's been a game changer for us. But um, I think 7.5 is gonna make this stuff even better. And so, um, yeah, that's it, man. Check this out. I'm going to order these prints, uh, and then I'm going to hang them. Maybe I'll hang them live for you guys when they come in um, for Miller's here. Uh, maybe I'll plan to do that Monday, uh, hang these live for you guys. So thank you, everybody. Um, let me hop back over to me here for a second. What up? Um, thanks, everyone, for, for hanging out. Episode 47. Tomorrow is Q&A Friday. That means I want to answer questions for you guys. Please, please, please show up. Ask questions. Um, and uh, if you come in late, if, if you're not live, drop them into the comment section because I'll still answer them for you, okay? At the very least, I'll save it for next Monday, uh, or I'm sorry, next Friday. Um, but yeah, I'd love to answer questions, even if it's questions about this stuff, right? Questions about Fundy or Miller's or whatever you guys got. So um, thanks again, everyone. Uh, keep working hard. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Where do I hang up? <laughs> Where's my button to press? I'm still, I'm still alive. I think I'm still alive. Give me some love. I'm still alive. Where's the, huh? I'll be darned. I have no clue. All right. Well, cheers. <laughs>